In 2008, San Quentin News was revived by then warden Robert Ayers Jr. Before that, the inmate run newspaper had been inactive for more than 20 years. The newspaper's emergence in this new millennium, its inmate staff and outside advisors have quickly propelled it into one of the leading publications covering criminal justice in California and the United States. We are the voice of every prisoner in the state of California. What began as 7,500 copies of a four-page monthly newspaper printed and circulated inside San Quentin State Prison has developed into a 20-page publication producing 30,000 copies that reach all 36 prisons in the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation and four juvenile facilities. We're about making a difference. The San Quentin News is an instrument of transformation and rehabilitation. We strive to make a difference in our community and society as well. For this reason, San Quentin News is in the process of expanding to develop beyond print journalism. Using a multimedia platform, San Quentin News' reach will mentor at-risk youth with a goal to increase public safety. But its message is clear and necessary to keep inmates motivated to participate in rehabilitative programs and to change their lives. Through La Raza Voices, the expansion of the newspaper's Journalism Guild will make the Spanish-speaking community more inclusive. This will be accomplished by training these men to write as journalists and by increasing the paper's Spanish section. The paper's message will continue disseminating relevant information to men, women, and juveniles in California's penal institutions and beyond. Who better to tell the stories of incarceration and its effects on society than the inmates who have been there and continue to live through the experience? Information about Criminal justice policies and what is happening inside the prison are in greater demand than ever before. The news operates on a shoestring budget and has to borrow video equipment to disseminate its multimedia message of rehabilitation and public safety. Using long-form storytelling, San Quentin News has already published its first quarterly magazine, Wall City. As journalists, it is our job to capture the history, the life, in the pains of our community. To become a viable news agency covering criminal justice, San Quentin News must continue to grow. To meet this challenge, San Quentin News is expanding its operations to include video productions and a magazine. The magazine will allow us to tell stories that go beyond what is reported in newspaper articles. The expansion has already taken place, along with a renewed interest in journalism produced by prisoners. Using the help of inmate vocational construction students, the news team has transformed its office into a modern workspace. So this is the San Quentin News. This is where we produce the newspaper. We print 30,000 copies, and we distribute to 36 prisons in the Department of Corrections and four juvenile institutions. Also to donors or subscribers out on the streets, and we're in 48 different states to individual people. You know, this is some of our staff over here. How you doing? My name is Richard Richardson. They call me Bonnaroo. This is our associate editor and head of the business department. Right now, uh, right now I'm just transcribing some notes from a store. I'm uh, entering in uh, data for uh, new donors and uh, tracking circulation distribution. Hi, my name is uh, Curtis Roberts. I'm sitting here sorting the mail. Sports is why people read a newspaper, especially guys in prison. And so it's a very important job. Uh, basically what I do is I help the writers, uh, the staff writers, tell their stories a little bit better. I got a, a little bit of time to work on a story, but ultimately I just came out of a meeting about how to help other incarcerated men to have access to the newsroom. I do layout and uh, write uh, stories in Spanish. I'm the managing editor of uh, the newspaper and I also make the crosswords uh, for each edition. To remain competitive, delivering timely newsworthy information while simultaneously teaching life skills to inmates, San Quentin News needs to continue its growth in the interest of rehabilitation and public safety. This is another goal of the news, and it is important to note that former San Quentin News staff who have paroled maintain a 0% recidivism rate. 
Help us to continue making California communities safer.